Sometimes you just need to kick back with some friends and dive into some great gaming side by side. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best couch games for PC. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're highlighting those computer games that we feel are best suited for couch co-op or local competitive play. Our list won't be including fighting games, due to there being enough great games in that category for an entirely separate list, or any PC titles that lack local multiplayer. This means that we will be excluding otherwise excellent games like Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Number 10, Screen Cheat. Typically, the practice of peeking at another player's screen is frowned upon, but not in this game, however. Screen Cheat is structurally very familiar as competitive shooters go, given that it involves multiple people running around colorful maps and trying to gun one another down. Where things get interesting is in the details. Each player is invisible, and the game is always played split screen, requiring you to glance at other screens to get the drop on opponents. If that weren't enough to draw you in, the challenge presented by the game's one-shot weapons and unique modes might just do the trick. Number 9, Gears of War 4, aka Gears of 4. You kept our armor. Picking up 25 years after the ending of Gears of War 3, this installment keeps the series' approach to cooperative cover shooting action alive. Two local players can run through the campaign of Gears 4 together, crossing paths with a few familiar faces while experiencing the now storm ridden world of Sarah. A lot of old standbys remain hopping from cover to cover, blasting and slicing through foes, but with new additions like special executions and increasingly deadly weather conditions to keep things interesting. Basically, it's good times for all those involved. Number 8. Keep talking and nobody explodes. Okay, I see a bomb. It's got wires, a button, keypad. We're gonna right. go wires one by one left to right, okay? Talk about diffusing tension, right? There's a lot of fun to be had with the nerve-wracking experience that is Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Level by level, one player must solve various intricate puzzles that appear on the sides of randomly generated suitcase bombs in order to shut them off. Meanwhile, a second person is expected to aid their friend by reading from the game's frighteningly extensive manual and guiding the disarmament process. The chaotic mess that is shouting and interpreting instructions in this game has proven, time and time again, to be immensely entertaining and hilarious. And really, what good is friendship if you can't test it with the threat of a bomb going off? It's been nice knowing you, Brandon. <laughs> Number 7, Trying 2. A fantastic adventure with a twist. Building on the template set by the original Trine, this 2011 sequel once more puts gamers in command of a trio of archetypal characters and sends them forth on a noble quest. Up to three people at a time can play as a wizard, a thief, and a knight through beautifully realized stages littered with environmental puzzles to solve and enemies to battle. Trine 2 doesn't lack for ways to engage, be it through fairy tale inspired arc design, plentiful combat challenges, or the surprisingly nuanced themes of powerful magic and the bonds of family. Aww. Number 6, Towerfall Ascension. Sometimes, simplicity is best when you need to bring a party together. Enter Towerfall Ascension, a multiplayer combat game ported over to various systems after its initial launch on the Ouya console. Ugh. Ascension pits players against one another in a 2D fantasy-themed arena, with the goal being to slay one another with head stomps and arrows. It's straightforward but really addictive, relying largely on the quaint charm of its visuals and the friendly rivalry of its premise. Of course, map-specific hazards and a handful of useful power-ups certainly don't hurt. Number 5. Lovers in a Dangerous Space-Time
Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time features a crew of a starship who must travel across the galaxy in order to battle and overcome a range of constellation-themed bosses. Between two and four players serve as the aforementioned crew manning different stations, with the expectation being that they coordinate and cooperate so as to traverse the deadly mazes. The game manages to balance challenge and excitement in its cooperative environment, keeping its audience on their toes with vibrant yet lethal obstacles and adversaries. Add to that a bright, cheerful visual style, and you have quite the pleasant adventure on your hands. Number 4. Castle Crashers Have you heard the one about the knights who set out to save some princess? Generic as the premise sounds, where the behemoth's second title, Castle Crashers, truly distinguishes itself is in its sense of humor and its embrace of the co-op mindset. Anywhere from two to four players can jump into the action, slicing and dicing through animals, rogue knights, and a whole assortment of eclectic adversaries. The game's abundance of sight gags and scanological jokes keeps things irreverent, especially when contrasted with the hand-drawn animation style. Number 3. Overcooked Turns out you really can't have too many cooks. At least that's the sense we gleaned from Overcooked, a cartoony kitchen sim about preparing meals in a limited span of time. While there is the option for a lone player to control two cooks at a time, Overcooked is at its best when local people are tackling the various kitchen challenges. That's to say nothing of the levels themselves, which take the concept of a familiar kitchen environment and, uh, toy with it in interesting ways. Pirate ships, space stations, a pair of moving trucks, there's no shortage of difficult, yet endearing, kitchens to run around in. Number 2. Nidhogg Duel for honor, duel for glory, duel to be eaten by the giant flying space worm. Nidhogg wears the influence of Norse mythology and classic arcade gaming with Prime. More importantly, it's a swiftly paced and deceptively simple one-on-one -on -one sword fighting game, where success means catching one's opponents off guard at just the right time. There's a tense energy to stabbing your friend's avatar, running from screen to screen, and surviving to be swallowed by the creature Neohogger, or something. With an art style that harkens back to the Atari 2600 era games, and a compelling lineup of themed stages, Nidhogg is in a league of its own. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Rocket League Developed as a follow-up to Psyonix's earlier game, supersonic acrobatic rocket-powered battle cars, geez, why didn't it catch on with that title? This more reasonably titled game makes the core experience work better than before. Rocket League takes the fundamental ball-centric play of soccer and mixes in what might be radio-controlled cars for good measure, creating a back-and-forth of opposing teams trying to score on one another. The game's inclusion of local split-screen makes it perfect for couch competitions, especially as players start to get a handle on the various skill sets involved. Sharp use of the blue-orange contrast and a finely tuned approach to driving mechanics just round out the quality on display in Rocket League. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.